Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Midweek War. It's me, Mad Mike, and we are here to talk some 205 Lizzle. And with me, as advertised, is the one and only Sorgatron. Hey, 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 hey. I'm ready to talk some flippy kind of stuff. And now some infused with some some Brooklynite promos. 205 Live. <laughs> Oh, I realize I'm missing something in this show. Um, uh, Producer Missy, can you grab something uh, for the show for me that's over on that guy's head? Uh, But anyways, yes, I'm ready to talk 205 Live. Uh, 205 Live, it's... um, I I think the death of 205 Live has been greatly exaggerated. (laughs) Okay, no, 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 wait a minute. So so can we clarify this before we get into everything? Because it, it... Or maybe we should do it after our word of the week. Do you want to do words first, or do you want to clarify yeah, yeah. the Bobby what, thing? What, what's your word, Sorg? Um, my word for the week is... Actually, you go first, because I realize I'm not ready for my word of the week. <laughs> okay. My word for this week is edgy. Edgy? Edgy. Edgy. Hmm. Um, my, my, my word for the week is is Cedric. Okay. All right. All right. And by the way, my my edgy is the wrestler edge e. Like it's it's edge like. It's edge like. All right, got gotcha. you. Yes. All right, now I'm ready. If you guys are on visuals, I'm definitely ready for 205 live talk right now. There we go. You got the Enzo hair going on. Um yes, it's com- Morgan, I I may have to call you a slop jalop from A slop jalop. <laughs> I I tell you what, if anybody looks like a slop jalop, that's this right here. Um but anyways, uh but no, so so Bobby Bobby, what did Bobby say Enzo getting a title match was going to be the death of 205 Live? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, basically. And that and that's like he said that immediately in the chat room. I'm like, "Oh no, Bobby just spoiled that 205 Live." Yeah, yeah, we thought that was getting canceled for the May Young Classic next week when when yeah. we were watching it live. So, which I still don't know how they're exactly doing that. That's going to be mm-hmm. really weird. I've been waiting for the schedule to get updated so I can look it up and and I haven't done that recently. Yeah. Uh it's going to be very awkward. But um yeah, I mean all right, so so Sorg, what what was your good this week for two hundred five? Uh, my good was that that five way. I was like, ugh, five way, really? Are we doing this? But we really gave it a lot of time. Everybody really went at it. It was a lot of fun. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was much better than it was elimination. Yes, absolutely. You could do a lot more story with that. Yeah. Um, I, the five way match was fun. Mm-hmm. Um, that that was kind of like Enzo was like. The only way I can see this being good for 205 Live is if this turns Cedric heel. I think you have too many heels on that show. Uh, I, I don't disagree, but the I fact think... that Cedric Alexander is underused on that show right. is... Is a travesty? Like, yeah, basically. Because like, the way he was looking at Enzo when Enzo was celebrating, I'm like... I kind of want him to cost Enzo the match at No Mercy. Yeah, a little bit. I, I think I think what we're going to end up with uh, hopefully is a Cedric and Enzo thing, and and it doesn't entirely need to end with Cedric being a bad guy. I feel like. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could do a three way too. Absolutely. You could do a three way where you have Enzo be kind of the man in the middle, or, or either Enzo or Cedric be the man in the middle, like. Like, Neville's the ultimate heel. Cedric's more of a face than Neville, but Enzo's more of a face than both of them. True. Even though en- even though Enzo's not acting like a face, he's just acting like a dick. Like, I, I-, I don't know. Enzo on 205 Live is really weird. It's, like, I know I wanted it, <laughs> but <laughs> but they're not doing it the way I envisioned it. Like, because right. it almost seems like he's taking this real life heat that he has and applying it to his on TV character, which does not work a lot of the time. Which I mean, but isn't that what we see with the you know um, Andrade Almas thing uh, that we didn't really talk about on the NXT show this week? But like how like supposedly he had this kind of persona, so they brought it into his character, and now they're correcting it. You know, um, you know, Enzo's bringing yeah, up how, it, how unliked he it is. It took a lot of mo- it took a lot of months for that to be corrected. Mm-hmm. 
205 Live, I don't think, doesn't have that kind of shelf life. No, no, absolutely. Uh, yeah, they need to be wrapped up pretty quick here. But, um, no, I, I think, I, I, again, let's see where the story goes. I liked, I liked the, the chapter we had this week, and let's see what happens going into No Mercy. And I feel like Cedric is getting more, and hopefully he keeps getting more. And also, I, are we upset that, because uh, <laughs> this has been the discussion this week, are we upset that Graham Metalli, great wrestler, legendary Mexican wrestler that he is, is now being t- referred to as Cheese? Yeah, it, this week he didn't, he didn't even remember that he called him Pepper Jack. Right. He just called him Nacho Libre. Like, like I mean, come on. That seems cheap. Come on, that bro. That seems cheap. Like, that is that is at least at least call him string cheese because he's king of the ropes. Ooh, I like that. That's at least like interesting. Right? Like and who doesn't love string cheese? Like mm. Pepper Jack sounds like an actual name. Nacho Libre implies that he's fat and overweight like Jack Black. Wasn't wasn't somebody's brother who was going into wrestling being no Colby Jack. We were calling him Colby Jack Colby for the Jack. longest time. Colby That's Jack, right. yeah. 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 So I mean, they they hashtag mayhem bump what, for for Pepper Jack for cheese. Yeah, sure. <laughs> May, okay. Mayhem bump for cheese. Mayhem bump All for right. cheese. Um, yes. <laughs> All right. So my my good this week is um, Drew Gulak has pamphlets. Yes, he does. <laughs> He, he's peace papering to a five live, and I appreciate that. He is. I, I I love everything Drew Gulak is doing these days. I really want a Drew Gulak T-shirt. I really, really do. And they're not making it available online. I'm very upset about that. No. Um. You're going to have to go over to that pro wrestling tree, cheese action. Yeah, pro wrestling trees. That's exactly what I meant. Pro wrestling trees, where you can find all of your favorite wrestling trees, like the great Kali. Uh, Jeez, jeez. I mean, he, he really there. is pro wrestling screw, isn't he? <laughs> kind of, kind of. Yeah, a little bit. All right. Uh, so, Sorg, what was your bad for two hundred five live this week? Because not every show is perfect. No, we know that. no, no, no. Not every show is perfect, and I would say the absence, the absence of Titus O'Neil. I don't know if he's just on vacation this week or what, but Titus Worldwide needs to be represented, and we've been missing mm-hmm. on Raw as well. Yeah, um, and I, like, why didn't Titus get Akira Tozawa a shot in this five-way match? Mm-hmm. Like, that's not good representation at all. Especially since Tony Nese got in there for reasons, eight of them maybe, but I don't know why Tony Nese was in that match and Akira Tozawa wasn't. I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Anyway, not everybody's going to be included. We might as well just be, you know, turn it into a, a, I don't know, eight way at this point. Just throw the entire yeah, roster at it. Because I mean, like Brian Kendrick makes sense. Mm-hmm. Brian Kendrick beat the shit out of Jack Gallagher next week, last week. That makes sense. But uh, Tony Nese has been nothing but losing. Like at least throw in an Arya Davari thing for like. Hey, sorry you get caught up in all these feuds you're not involved with. Because mm-hmm. that's literally, like, Arya Davari is the most unluckiest man in 205 Live. Right. Like, he got caught up in the Noam Dar Rich Swan stuff. He got caught up in the Neville Akira Tozawa stuff. He got caught up in the TJP Rich Swan stuff. But, but he's a great foil for that kind of stuff. Um, hey, we need somebody to have an issue for, a, for an episode. Okay, Arya Davari. He's been a great I, character yeah, for that. You got to give him that. I I'm not saying he hasn't done well with it. I'm just saying he kind of needs his own story. Mm-hmm. Like Arya Davari hasn't had his own story since he feuded with Jack Gallagher. Nope. Uh, all right, uh, my bad this week. No Jack Gallagher on this week's show. <laughs> yeah, apparently he's been killed off of 205 Live after that match. Did Matanza eat him? Oh no! Is that is that what happened? Don't, I don't know. I don't believe that he made an appearance on on main event or or Raw yesterday either. Like I, from what I heard, it was only four stitches. Like, did he get heat for getting busted open? Like I don't know. Like I don't know. I, I missed me some Jack Gallagher, especially you know given this new intense streak he's had. Mm-hmm. I would have loved to see. Like Enzo, Cedric, and uh, Pepper Jack 
And then uh <laughs> Ray Metallic. I'm just I'm just gonna lean into it now. Uh and the other two guys being Kendrick and Jack Gallagher. Mm-hmm. In a no DQ match, that could have been fun as shit. Oh, here's a good point. Tina's pointing out that uh uh he's been wrestling for progress lately. Oh, well I guess that's so progress. Maybe I mean between <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yep. Yeah, you did that. Yeah, that's it. <sighs> yeah, and they might Word be saving it. Ruled. But um, no, yeah, I, they could be saving it. And, and also, but... yeah, because a lot of the Eng- England England guys have been doing a lot of stuff in England, right? You know, the, the UK tournament guys, which is again these guys that are in this interesting halfway sign, still doing indies kind of spot. So, which is you know, I have not been clear on who's actually signed with two hundred five and who's still doing this kind of stuff and what the deal is there. Um, but uh, it's, glo- it's global force WWE. It kind of is at this point, isn't it? Uh, but <laughs> our, our friend Shin in your face is yelling, how you doing at, at, at me? So mm-hmm. no, I'm yeah. doing great. I'm having a good sorry. hair day guys. Sorry. sorry. You have, you have to give us at least one. How you doing? How you doing? Or, okay. or because oh. Enzo couldn't figure out what it is the other day. Come with a star. <laughs> good that's good that's good sword i i like how this is the show that you will say spanish on <laughs> but not the show where i actually ask you questions in espanol that's right that's right that's up next all right what else we got to do for 205 live here uh sword what was uh did, did you said your bed i said my I bad did, yeah, what was your change for 205 live my change cedric winning Let's let's give him a run at this. Yeah, I that's, cannot that's wait for a Cedric Neville feud for that belt. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um. My my change would be I want to see all of uh, Drew Gulak's PowerPoint. Yeah. Oh, if there was a PowerPoint on the on the Titan Tron, that was a thing uh-huh. that happened. Uh huh. Yeah. And, and and as someone who has done a lot of PowerPoints, I appreciated the shit out of that that's the first time i think ever i've seen someone standing in ring pointing to a graphic on titantron Mm -hmm. in a promo i've actually enjoyed Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as somebody who's done a lot of live streams and av for people doing powerpoint presentations i am wholeheartedly with you sorg i wanted that next slide to be no jumping off the bottom rope I want because the first slide was no jumping off the top rope. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Second slide, no jumping off the middle rope. Okay, and I'm like, oh, let that third slide be no jumping off the bottom rope. Please let that be the thing because that brings me back to when Kevin Nash was a cruiserweight in TNA. Absolutely. <laughs> remember that? I remember, remember that. that and he was doing the flips Nash, in the ring and everything. When, when yes. Kevin Nash was going for the X Division title. Yes. And he did a splash off the bottom rope. Yes, he did. That was great. High flying seven footer. Love it. Ah, uh, I wanted to see that next slide so badly. And it just kind of made me hate Akira Tozawa. <laughs> Sorry, I was a little distracted. There's people walking by and they're seeing me with his hair. And then there's a guy that's obviously on the wrong side of the street because he's got a Stone Cold shirt on. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I just think it's nice that you brought back the long hair. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's kind of, I've never done blonde before, so that might be the way to go. You know, <laughs> there it is. That's, that's a look for me right there. If, it, if you're on audio, that... if you're on the audio version, you are missing out, but I did tweet a photo. <laughs> So. Oh, excellent! Well, that's that's always good. Um, so so yeah, Sorga, where do you rank two hundred five live this week? Uh, number two, w- real fun show and a lot of fun in ring, uh, which was a big thing and why I kind of detract from NXT. So no, I, I definitely a solid number two this week. Uh, yeah, it's number two for me this week too. The five way match was fun. I honestly didn't see much, um point in the Gulak versus Akira Tozawa match. Mm-hmm. I did like the continuation of the Rich Swan TJP stuff, though. This was the most fun you can have on a wrestling show without a taser being involved. And you know what? I'm t- That crowd was into 205 Live this week. Yep. That crowd was into it. So, I mean, we may not like what Enzo's doing for the show. The crowd does. But at does. the same time, you have to kind of like what Enzo's doing for the show. Right. Like, Sorg, now I'm I've never heard this before. You need to tell me if you have. 
Have you ever heard a 205 chant before? <laughs> no, I haven't. Okay, because that is the thing that should get started, I think. Mm-hmm. For when they have really... Because, you know, like... Like, EC Dub, NXT, 205. Like, if you can get that chant Ucha, started... Ucha, Ucha. Yeah, exactly. Like, you need, like, two or three syllable chants, but if you can get that started... That might actually really improve things a lot. Hey, you know how granted, you do it? Just keep doing good shit on your show. It's, granted, a, it's a winning this is, it's a winning formula. This is coming at the worst possible time because I don't think Neville versus Enzo Amore is going to be a Matt classic. No. But but oh, geez. who knows? It may actually it may actually get on the No Mercy show as opposed to the No Mercy pre show. Alex is in the chat, bought a boom, realist sorg in the room. I think Missy. I think Missy takes exception to that. I think Missy does take exception to that. <laughs> I, I can see. I can see her. <laughs> I don't know if I you heard the what in the background. The <laughs> I can see her cock her head from the side when you said it. <laughs> ah, that was the best. What's that? That was the best. I have fake. No, you don't have fake hair. Exactly. She's the realest org in the room. She is the realest org in the room. I'm the one with the fake hair. <laughs> All right, Sork. Besides, besides uh, being a slop jalop, where can people find you? Oh, uh, this slop jalop is hanging out at SorgatronMedia.com. Sorgatron Studios here in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. Come by and say hi. All right, and you can find me at Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter machine. Also, go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM for when I live tweet things such as Lucha Underground, and occasionally pop in my thoughts when I think NXT is whispering to me. Mm. All right, Sorg. So next week we are going to see more two hundred five live, and you and I will talk about it right here on the Mid 